This is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know all the things to do. So, the next time somebody says, But Mr. Mega Man Fan, why aren't you playing these games on a CRT the way they were intended to be? I'm just gonna quote Trick Daddy. Uh-huh. Okay. What's up? Shut up. Now, I'm not really mad at anybody. I get it. I still own a CRT for the very reason that I like how games look, the way they're originally meant to be displayed in their original resolution and their original pixel width. It's not like I got rid of CRT. I just like to have the option to play stuff the way it wasn't designed to be played, as well as to be played the way it was designed to be played. I like that flexibility. The same reason I like digital games as well as physical games. Sometimes you want a cartridge, and sometimes you just want the option to play something without getting out a cartridge or a disc. It is nice to live in a world where we can have both and not have to settle for one or the other. This Famicom was picked up at Ben's Game Zone. Thank you, Ben. And then we will play some games. Many, many options here. Why don't we start with classic? Good old Super Mario 3. And I've got Q tips and rubbing alcohol if they are needed, which I kind of hope they're not. I hope I cleaned it enough the last time. So let me uh, tilt this up just a little bit. Or try to. There we go. And then put the cartridge in the slot. Nothing. There we go. this camera up a little bit. Friend Josh was joking that I should play Takeshi's challenge like Jontron and drop it into some liquid. Well, I won't do that, but I do have Takeshi's challenge. I'm not gonna drop it into a fish tank, but I can at least play the game on here. But first, let's play a little Mario 3. Classic. I could probably stand to turn the brightness of the screen up a little. Menu. Video. Adjust. Picture. Tint. Color. Bright. That's a little better. I'd have to actually dial it down on the camera, but it's good for me. The short cords are kind of obnoxious on this, but oh well. Controller works just fine. It actually feels a little worn in, if anything, which I actually prefer. Oh, I timed that wrong. I'm gonna have to get another shell from somebody. One of these paratroopers will do the trick nicely. There's my leaf. Fly, raccoon, fly. And let's get the one up. 
speed here. Can you tell I've only done this like a hundred billion gazillion jillion times? Just hit it with my tail. I think 44 and 4 is the trick to get the coin ship. I might be remembering that wrong. And I timed it wrong anyway, so it doesn't even matter. So I think that's safe to say my Famicom works. Oh, I just spilled a bunch of rubbing alcohol. Brilliant, brilliant, Steve, brilliant. At least the cord will be nice and clean. Also, it evaporates quickly, so. She's challenged since Josh made a point of that. SMB3, like where it belongs. Hopefully, Takeshi's challenge is clean. The infamous game. The game that has ruined many a child's lives on Christmas morning, according to John Tron. Beat Takeshi. I will beat you. Start. What was the rumor if you pressed A999 times it would it would cause the game to automatically cut to the end screen? player's guide to really know what I'm doing here, or I'd have to watch John Tron's entire video again. But, I think this much pretty proves... This pretty much proves this is a working Famicom, so I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>